ever imagined a world where one man's words could shape a nation's identity? Welcome to the world of Ferdowsi, born in the vibrant city of Tus, nestled in the heart of present-day Iran around the year 940 Common Era. It was a time of cultural richness and historical significance, a period where the Persian heritage was alive and flourishing. Ferdowsi came into the world amidst this cultural tapestry, his life destined to be interwoven with the threads of his nation's history and identity. The city of Tus, a cradle of civilization, became the backdrop to the early years of this future legend. A poet who would one day compose the Shaname, an epic poem that would shape the Persian identity for generations to come. Born amidst a rich tapestry of Persian culture, a legend was set to rise. Ferdowsi didn't just write a poem, he crafted an epic. This statement is not an exaggeration. Ferdowsi devoted the better part of his life to the creation of what would become one of the most significant works of Persian literature, the Shahnameh. Imagine this, the Shahnameh is an epic poem that unfurls over several decades, chronicling the history of Persian kings and heroes. From the dawn of mythical times to the fall of the Sasanian Empire, Ferdowsi meticulously weaved the tales of these figures, painting a vivid portrait of an era long past. Now, let's talk about the sheer volume of this epic. The Shanama is a colossal work, comprised of over 50,000 rhyming couplets. Yes, you heard it right, 50,000. That's a testament not just to Ferdowsi's literary prowess, but also his unwavering dedication to his craft. But what makes the Shaname even more remarkable is its language. Ferdowsi wrote this epic in classical Persian, a language that he loved and wished to preserve. He could have chosen to write in Arabic, the language of the ruling elite at that time. But no, Ferdowsi chose Persian, the language of his people, the language of his heart. In choosing Persian, Ferdowsi made a statement, a statement of love for his culture, his heritage, his identity. He used his pen to resist cultural assimilation and to keep the Persian language alive. And he succeeded. Today, the Persian language thrives and we owe a great part of that to Ferdowsi and his Shahnameh. The Shahnameh is not just an epic poem, it is a labor of love, a monument of cultural preservation, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a man who loved his language, his culture, his people. Ferdowsi didn't just write an epic, he wrote a legacy that would live on for centuries. In every couplet of the Shahnameh, Ferdowsi breathed life into the annals of Persian kings and heroes. Every artist knows the sting of rejection, and Ferdowsi was no stranger to this bitter taste. Imagine pouring your heart and soul into a work of art, a grand epic that took you close to three decades to complete. Now, imagine presenting this labor of love to the world, only to be met with indifference and dismissal. This was the harsh reality that Ferdowsi, the illustrious Persian poet, had to face. Ferdowsi's magnum opus, the Shahnameh, is a poetic chronicle that weaves together the history of Persian kings and heroes from mythical times to the fall of the Sasanian Empire. With over 50,000 rhyming couplets, it's an ambitious work that Ferdowsi had hoped would gain him the recognition and patronage he deserved. The story goes that upon completing the Shahnameh, Ferdowsi presented it to the Samanid ruler, Mahmud of Ghazni. The poet had high hopes of receiving patronage from the ruler who was known for his love of literature. However, it seems that Mahmud had a different taste in poetry. Instead of celebrating Ferdowsi's masterpiece, Mahmud allegedly showed little appreciation, choosing to patronize other poets instead. This rejection hit Ferdowsi hard. He had given a considerable part of his life to the Shahnameh, and to see it dismissed so casually was a bitter pill to swallow. The disappointment and frustration he felt can only be imagined. It's a feeling many artists can relate to, even today. But what makes Ferdowsi's story remarkable is the resilience he showed in the face of such rejection. There's a saying that goes, art is never finished, only abandoned. But Ferdowsi did not abandon his art. He remained steadfast in his commitment to his epic, even in the face of indifference. It's a testament to his love for his culture, his language and his craft. Despite the cold shoulder from patrons, Ferdowsi's spirit remained undeterred. He continued to believe in the worth of his work, and as we know now, he was right. His resilience ensured the Shaname would survive and thrive, becoming a cornerstone of Persian identity and a testament to his enduring legacy. Even the greatest of stories must come to an end. As we turn the pages of history, we find Fadawsi, the legendary Persian poet, meeting his end around the year 1020. 
His illustrious life faded away, leaving behind a symphony of words that would echo through the centuries. The circumstances were far from grand. He died impoverished and embittered, a stark contrast to the rich tapestry of tales he had woven. Around this time, the Ghaznavid Empire, once a beacon of Persian cultural and intellectual life, was also teetering on the brink of collapse. A poignant parallel, the fall of this empire marked the end of an era, much like the passing of our poet, but as the dust of time settled, it became clear that although Ferdowsi's physical presence had ceased, his poetic prowess had etched an indelible mark on Persian culture. Ferdowsi might have left the world, but his legacy was far from over. The world has a way of recognizing true genius, even if it's a little late. Such was the case for Ferdowsi, the revered Persian poet. Upon his death around the year 1020, the world truly started to appreciate the magnitude of his literary contributions. Although Ferdowsi left this world impoverished and embittered, his monumental work, the Shahnama, lived on, becoming a beacon of Persian literature and culture. The Shahnama, an epic poem, chronicling the history of Persian kings and heroes from mythical times to the fall of the Sassanian Empire, was not just a collection of rhyming couplets, it was a testament to Ferdowsi's unwavering dedication to preserving the Persian language and heritage. In the years following his death, Ferdowsi's stature grew immensely. His contributions were increasingly recognized and celebrated. The Shahnameh became a cornerstone of Persian identity, a treasure trove of cultural history and values, and a testament to the richness of the Persian language. Ferdowsi was no longer just a poet, he became an icon, receiving the honorific titles of Hakim and Ferdowsi Etusi. Hakim, meaning the wise, was a fitting title for a man whose words carried profound wisdom and insight. Ferdowsi Etusi was an homage to his birthplace, the city of Tus, further cementing his legacy in the annals of Persian history. The recognition that eluded Ferdowsi in life came to him posthumously. His work transcended time, resonating with generations of readers, scholars and poets. His undying devotion to the preservation of Persian language and culture made him a national hero, an embodiment of the Persian spirit. Ferdowsi's journey serves as a reminder that true genius and dedication often outlive their creators, echoing through the ages. His legacy is a testament to the power of words and the enduring impact of cultural preservation. Ferdowsi was gone, but his words echoed louder than ever. Through his posthumous recognition, Ferdowsi's voice continues to resonate, teaching us about the beauty and resilience of Persian culture and the importance of preserving our cultural heritage. One man's epic became a nation's identity. The Shahnameh, penned by the wise Ferdowsi, is not just an epic poem. It is a cultural cornerstone, a testament to Ferdowsi's love for Iran and his dedication to preserving its unique voice, the Farsi language. Ferdowsi's Shahnameh has had a profound and lasting impact on Persian literature. The epic poem, consisting of over 50,000 rhyming couplets, is a rich tapestry of tales, weaving together the histories of Persian kings and heroes, from mythical times to the fall of the Sasanian Empire. This monumental work served as both a literary masterpiece and a cultural compass, guiding subsequent generations of poets and writers. But the influence of Shahnameh extends beyond the realm of literature. In the vast landscape of Persian culture, it stands as a towering monument, a beacon of national identity. Amid the shifting sands of time and the tides of foreign influence, the Shahnameh has remained steadfast, a testament to the enduring spirit of the Iranian people. Ferdowsi's unwavering dedication to his work was fueled by his deep love for his homeland. He toiled for many years, crafting every line, every verse, with the singular goal of preserving the Farsi language. He understood that language is the lifeblood of culture, the vehicle through which a people's history, values and identity are passed down through generations. He knew that to keep Farsi alive was to keep the soul of Iran alive. And so, through the Shahnameh, Ferdowsi ensured that Iran would continue to speak in its own unique voice. The poem is a mirror, reflecting the glory of Persian history, the resilience of its people and the beauty of its language. It is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, a nation's identity can endure, preserved in the words of its poets, the stories of its heroes and the hearts of its people. Through the Shahnameh, Ferdowsi ensured that the soul of Iran would forever speak in its own unique voice.